Welcome back, everybody, to our little haven of holidays. It's cruise away time again here on Gecko. Our team of travel gurus have been putting together genius cruise and stay packages around the world for over 25 years. And this half hour will showcase their finest work as we set off on adventures in Europe. Yes, absolutely right, Joe. Our talented team really have come up trumps in this show. Be prepared to be transformed into a superstar later on as we take you on such a treat of a luxury holiday which starts in the south of France and involves a helicopter. I can't believe that. I'm going to tell you more later. <laughs> I know that's a terrible tease, but stick around and I'll tell you more a little bit later on. We're also going to be falling in love with the eternal city of Rome later with an incredible and immersive tour of the Med. I mean, Derek, a helicopter. I know, right? A helicopter. Yeah. Well, we never talked about helicopters on our show before. No. I want to show you more, but I know you're going to keep me guessing too. So in the meantime, let's get started with our first adventure. Um, if I said tulips, canals and clogs, what's the first th place you'd think of? Um, Amsterdam. Yes, not, <laughs> not Delhi. Um, no. Wonderful Amsterdam, of course. And our first Dream Away package is taking us from Amsterdam to the Arctic Circle. Mm. Really interesting itinerary. Nice. This starts on May the 27th, where we fly from Sydney to Amsterdam. We take the short train journey from the airport to the city for a two night stay in a hotel. And of course, Amsterdam in springtime, there is nowhere quite like it. Um, and you are escaping, you know, moving into your autumn awesome back home, which is lovely. It's a great time to get away, actually. Um, and Amsterdam has a ton to offer. Tulip um, time as well. It's tulip time. So mm -hmm. you can go to Kluken, is it Kluchenhof? Kluchenhof, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go yeah. and see the, the tulips there. Um, it's known for its cheese, of course, the big, the old Amsterdam is the favourite. It's delicious cheese. And of course, uh, grab a bike and cycle around like the locals do. You might want to go to Anne Frank House or head up and see the, the Van Gogh Museum as well like there's just so much to enjoy in and Amsterdam. the diamond museum of course and the diamonds well. exactly lovely. the diamond district yeah fantastic okay so we are boarding one of the first vessels I worked on the jewel of the seas for 12 nights she's a beautiful vessel um, one of the you know beloved in Royal Caribbean's fleet Lots of glass and sculpture everywhere. They have beautiful Swarovski display up in the disco. Um, the Viking Crown is the disco on Royal Caribbean, and they do lots of events up there. With the crew staff team, you might find like they do 70s and 80s night, all those fun things that you can be a part of. Um, of course, there's no pressure when you're on a cruise. You literally will get a daily planner with everything that is happening on the cruise. In fact, they do it digitally now. So it'll tell you if you want to go and do shuffleboard, it's at this time. If you want to go and do the quiz, the bingo, uh, if you want to learn how to fold those fancy towel animals or, mm -hmm. you know, all the, all the clever napkins, if you want to go to cocktail mixing or go and learn a signature dish with the chef, it's all going to be listed for you on your daily activity planner. And of course, by today's standards, Jewel is one of the smaller, more intimate ships yeah. with Royal Caribbean, because of course, Royal Caribbean Caribbean have the biggest ships now in the world and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger so um, in step with where we're going up to the Arctic Circle the size of this ship and actually the intimacy of it I think will just be perfect. She's one of their boutique ships definitely and you're going to love that environment um, getting to know people so shall we have a look at where we're going well we're going to be cruising out of the port for Amsterdam and we will be heading straight into beautiful Norway. Garanger is first. Now, Garanger is very famous for its fjords, and you'll definitely see them from deck on the ship and while walking around, that beautiful sort of feeling of green open space and fresh air in the Norwegian fjords awaits. Tromso is up next. Um, this is very far north up in the Arctic Circle, and you can see the Arctic Cathedral, which is a really imposing site of architecture there. Um, maybe head on a husky sled ride. Oh, they're so cute. Amazing to see those sleds dogs. Honningsfeld's up next and this is the further northernmost city in mainland Norway. Uh, you've got the Arctic ice bar there. You've got to go and take a selfie, haven't you? Write your name on the Arctic ice bar in ice. Then we are going to be cruising the Arctic Circle. I think this is just going to be an unforgettable experience before heading into Alessand, which is your picture-perfect Norwegian town. It is so pretty. Those lovely coloured houses, um, you know, make for wonderful 
uh, unforgettable photos. You know, this is once in a lifetime experience. Flam is up next, um, a place of folklore and culture. You learn all about the uh, the legends of the Vikings and the trolls, and you can take the Tromso, uh, oh, excuse me, the Flam no, um, railway right there as well. Lovely way to see this port. Then we're into Stavanger. Again, known for its incredible fjords, but this might be, uh, you know, a town you just want to walk around uh, on foot, maybe take a walking tour. Speak to your shore excursions team as well, because they'll have some great suggestions for booking your, your stays, your booking your experiences. Um, next up, our final port on this amazing itiner itinerary is Christiansand with its dramatic peats and pristine fjords, lovely old wooden houses in the old town as well. They have a great zoo there also. A day at sea sees us back into Amsterdam, where you will, of course, disembark and we'll fly you back to Sydney, Australia, after this unforgettable itinerary. This is one on many people's bucket lists to see the land of the Vikings, of fire and ice, as they say. And it is magical to be on that ship you know, taking in everything Fjordland has to offer. And don't forget, there's lots of scenic cruising on this itinerary as yeah, well. Yeah, beautiful, really, really intimate boutique experience here on the cruise as well. And it's a wonderful part of the world that you have to see. So this whole package then, 16 nights in total, included the flight from Sydney over to Amsterdam in Holland. You've got two nights in a hotel there to explore. That's room only, so you can do with that time as you want to. Then those 12 nights of cruising with Royal Caribbean on the Jewel of the Seas up to northern Norway and into the Arctic Circle as well. In search of maybe those northern lights as well, you'll also cruise the fjords up in Norway as well. Exceptional destinations and of course sailing back into to Amsterdam and will include of course the flight back to Sydney from Schiphol which is the uh, airport in Amsterdam. We say that now, again. Schiphol. <laughs> uh, we can put a low deposit down on this right now. $500 each today to secure this price tag which again from our team is an absolutely exceptional dream away package there. $5,799 each, which is incredible. Now, of course, because we are very much scenic cruising in the part of the world that we are going to, you might want to upgrade your inside to an ocean view or indeed a balcony. So let's have a look at the prices of that as well, because of course you've got different staterooms available on board. So there are your prices if you want to go up from inside to ocean view and indeed up to balcony as well. Any questions you've got, by the way, do call us toll free. 1300 411954 is our toll free telephone number. We're here to talk to you every single day, and all the deals you can look at in more detail online on our website at cruiseaway.com. Dot au. But what a treat. And of course, if you wanted more than two nights in Amsterdam before you cruise or you wanted to add some nights on after the cruise in Amsterdam, just let our team know and we can tailor the package for you as well. 1300 911954 is our toll free telephone number. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And I tell you what, Amsterdam is incredible. Um, I worked over in Holland a few years ago um, and absolutely loved it. It's a really lovely pace of life there as well. But anyway, sweet. Switching from Holland, we are switching cruise lines now to Princess Cruises now for a cruise and stay package featuring a brand new ship, Joe. Yes, and I have to say Princess Cruising is classic cruising at its finest. This is a luxury Mediterranean explorer with Rome stays for 26 nights. We're going to be leaving on the 25th of March and we're going to fly you from Sydney to Rome in Italy for a three night hotel stay. Incredible. Uh, lovely time to visit Rome. It is springtime in Italy. So you've got three nights in the Eternal City. I mean, you are literally here um, at the precipice of three and a half, four thousand years of history. I mean, you literally stroll down uh, casually down a regular street in Rome and you'll come across ruins from thousands of years ago of an ancient civilization. It is unlike anywhere else on earth. And of course, you are going to want to see one of the original ancient wonders of the world and just stand in awe of the Colosseum. You've got to. Then we're heading on to, well, the world's next marvel, as it says right here, the Sun Princess. Look, I mean, she's going to be about a month old when you're going to be setting, setting foot on board this vessel. You're going to be on board for 19 fabulous nights, powered sustainably. So this is a brand new class of princess ship, and it's called the Sphere class. So they actually use liquid nat um, natural gas to power this vessel, which is better for the environment. 
There's so many iconic princess features. Maybe you've cruised princess before, so you're familiar with the brand. This is going to be everything you love about princess, but amplified. You know, um, it's gonna be fresher and newer and brighter, more innovative than ever before, whilst retaining the charm that we love about princess, those intimate spaces and that exceptional customer service. And guess what, if it's your you know first ever cruise, I think you'll just be, okay, princess for life once you set on board, because it is um, just one of the world's beloved, most beloved cruise lines, without a shadow of a doubt. Let's have a little look at the uh, renderings for this vessel, because of course she hasn't even been released yet. Amazing, look at all the outdoor space. Now they have this incredibly dynamic, um, you know, in, in, well, sphere class as we've called it. They have this dome, which is up on, you know, uh, the, the very top deck. And this is actually a dynamic space that is used for evening entertainment um, and so much more. And also you can, you can go and do dining in there. Lots of new bars and restaurants, of course, more uh, brand new names than ever before seen on a princess ship. Um, you have a gorgeous wraparound promenade for the first time as well. So you can walk around the outside of the ship and take in the views on the promenade, uh, which has been, again, quite um, a unique featuring of this ship. Let's talk food though. The Horizons restaurant, I mean, that is your three tier restaurant. Uh, very first for Princess. And we're gonna have a look at where we're going. So we're heading to Le Spets here in Italy. This is your stopping off point for Cinque Terre, uh, for beautiful Florence, and of course, Pisa. You wanna take a selfie with the Leaning Tower. It just has to be done. Next up, we are hopping over to Genoa in Northern Italy. It's a famous port town. It's very relaxed. You can get great pizza, great food there. Um, and you'll also see the Romanesque Cathedral of San Lorenzo uh, with its black and white striped facade. That's of course that frescoed interior characteristic of Italy. Marseille's up next. And uh, this is in beautiful Provence. You can go to the Calanques National Park um, or you know view that beautiful Basilica Notre Dame de la Garde, uh, amazing st structure. Um, we are into Barcelona next, which is the capital of Catalonia and known for its beautiful and imposing Gothic architecture um, from Antonio Gaudi. Of course, there's the Sagrada Familia. You've also got the Parque Guell and so much more to see. Palma de Mallorca awaits us next. And I love the idea of this being just a relaxed little beach day for you. And there's some wonderful beaches in Palma de Mallorca. There is, um, you know, the Porto Sayer and Alcudia are some of the best there you can visit. Then we're into Cartagena for a spot of history, European history, but with a Roman twist. You have this, this amazing Roman amphitheater to visit, Roman theater, and there's actually the Roman Forum there as well. So really interesting part of Northern Spain, um, the, the Southern Spain rather. Gibraltar's up next. You can go and see the Grand Siege Tunnels um, underneath the, uh, the island. And then of course the Rock of Gibraltar, Maybe head on a dolphin safari. You can actually get some great dolphin watching from this port as well. We're back into the port for Rome, Civita Vecchia, and we'll get to enjoy a day there as well, which is great. You can, anything you missed out on, you can you know, hop on the train or take a shore excursion. Um, there's always so much more to see in Rome, or maybe just in, enjoy the port where you are. Corfu is up next, and I love uh, wandering around the street markets in Corfu and maybe enjoying some delicious Greek cuisine, maybe a Greek salad, some saganaki, some tarama salata. Oh, it's such good food. Then Couture Montenegro awaits. I know, I mean, imagine the stories you're gonna have to tell back home. I, I visited Montenegro, thank you very much. A UNESCO World Heritage walled city. It is beautiful. Head on up to the, the, the castle. Um, it's a bit of a hike, but it's worth it. Then we're into Mykonos. Mykonos is um, instantly recognizable due to its beautiful whitewashed walls and um, imposing blue, beautiful bright blue buildings. There's the island of Delos as well, which um, houses much architecture. Santorini beckons us next, a neighboring island to Mykonos. Take the uh, cable car from the port up to the old town of Thera. Um, it's a nice experience, and then you can just wander the cobbled streets, do a spot of shopping and dining. We're into Naples, Italy. I mean, this is just a wash with incredible culture and history, this trip, isn't it? Do speak to our shore excursions team to get the best out of your itinerary. Pompeii is a must there, though the lost city of Pompeii. They've just made some new discoveries there as well, which is wonderful in Naples. So do get really? to Pompeii if you can. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I'd like to go back and see those. I've been lucky enough to visit. Then we're back into Rome. 
we have another two nights in Rome. Do you know what I love about this, Derek? You don't have to stay in Rome. You're based in Rome. There's the Trevi Fountain, of course. Hop on a train. The Italian rail system is like oh, nothing super. on earth. It's yeah. so good. You can go to other cities in Rome to enjoy um, and, and make sure you get your fill of the world's best gelato. Yeah, you could get to um, Milan. You could get to Verona. You could get to Venice. You can get all around Italy very, very easily indeed. Like you say, the trains are absolutely incredible there. They really, really are good and they're quick as well which is good so here is your itinerary and there is lots of it as well because you've got 26 nights in all which is fabulous remember 19 of those nights are cruising on the brand new sun princess it's always great to have a brand new ship as joe said earlier she'll have only been sailing for about a month when you get on which is incredible so everything's brand spanking new and shining and very very different as well in this brand new sphere class with princess as well so, the holiday you are going to love, and you'll have to book it as soon as you possibly can because, of course, the world's eyes are on a brand new ship, and this is one of her first sailings. So, the package is 26 nights in all. It's coming up in March, of course, including the price I'm about to give you the flight from Sydney over to Rome. We've got three nights in a hotel there, room only, and that's just the start of the time you're spending in Rome as well. Then you've got that 19 nights of brand new Sun Princess cruising, of course, exploring the Mediterranean and Europe and taking in Italy, of course, and Spain and Gibraltar and Corfu and Montenegro and Mykonos and Santorini, back into Rome and then two more nights in a hotel there before the flight back to Sydney. Now, we can put a deposit down right now of $1,000 each, which is amazing. And again, your price tag on this whole entire package, when you consider what is included on a brand new cruise ship as well, and so much cruise and so many destinations, look at this price tag. $6,699 each or $1,000 each right now as a deposit so you've got that price locked in. Let's have a look at upgrades on board as well. So if you want to go from inside to ocean view up to balcony or indeed up to the suite on the brand new Sun Princess as well. Honestly, you will be treated royally. You'll love Princess. Maybe you've sailed before on a ship called the Sun Princess because inter interestingly, this is the third Sun Princess that Princess Cruises have had. Um, so even if you think, hang on a second, new Sun Princess, I'm sure I've been on a Sun Princess cruise. Well, uh, the last one only stopped sailing in 2020. So this is a brand new ship, brand new for 2024 uh, which is amazing so listen if you want to know more or you're ready to book right now call us toll free 1300 911954 and speak to our team straight away remember there are people all across Europe who are booking that cruise as well because it's one of the first on the brand new Sun Princess all the deals of course and all the princess cruises you can see on our website as well at cruiseaway.com.au um, okay Prepare to do something utterly and completely out of your wildest dreams right now because we are talking luxury, we are talking jet setting like the superstars in our final offer, aren't we, Joe? This, this is, is where the helicopter comes in. Yeah, the big sunglasses, <laughs> get them out and get them ready for this because, yes, this is the offer that could, if you want it to, feature a helicopter. Yeah, you're going to feel like a superstar, but you do not have to be a millionaire to do this. No. This is the amazing thing, because we are heading off on Azamara Club Cruises. We are gonna be going to the hotspots of luxury and sophistication in Europe, the French Riviera, the Côte d'Azur. We're going to Monte Carlo. We're going to uh, the French Riviera, of course, in the Adriatic. Luxury, more inclusive cruising. This is for 26 nights. Leaving on the 2nd of July next year, we're again in the heart of uh, European summertime. We'll fly you from Sydney to Nice in the south of Flan France. And when you arrive, you'll join your included transfer of your choice of either a helicopter. What? I know. Or premium vehicle to your hotel in Monte Carlo for a three night hotel stay. So I'm thinking that might helicopter. be a limo, maybe something like that. Premium vehicle. Yeah, I'd be taking the helicopter. Absolutely. You've got to do it. You wouldn't miss that opportunity, <laughs> would you? <laughs> Can you imagine um, showing the friends and fam back home? I mean, my goodness, ultimate bragging rights. It has to be said. So, um, yeah, you are going to be, of course, heading into your your incredible adventure. 
and you're going to be staying in Monte Carlo for three nights. I mean, my word, what an experience to start off your trip. So then we're heading on board this fantastic and exciting vessel, the Azamara Pursuit, for 19 nights. Now, what's included on board with Azamara is so much more. And this is why we say, you know, it's more included cruising. You're going to be enjoying whilst you're on board your drinks. So this is your, again, this is, it, this is your favorite spirits and cocktails. This is your coffees. This is your wine, um, you know, not just pre-dinner drinks, but also with dinner and when you want it and, and soft drinks as well and bottles of water and everything like that. Things you don't have to think about additionally. Um, also, you're going to be not having to worry about gratuities. They are included as well. Uh, you've got some laundry included and you also have cultural evenings depending on the itinerary um, they might do a special event where maybe they bring somebody on board um, you know somebody specific to the destination a talent from the region perhaps so it just makes it for a, a more tailored experience you have port shuttles included these are things we don't necessarily think about especially if we haven't cruised before but it just makes your life a lot easier you know when you're heading into these ports of call cool. yeah and you'll notice on these as well that it's more ship for less people yes. which is amazing so it really does have that luxury feel and you've got two cruises actually on this one which are back to back which is incredible so out of monte carlo we're starting with an overnight in nice we are a uh, gateway to uh, other jumping off points in the french riviera which is lovely but nice has um just a real charm to it whether it's grabbing a delicious crepe and a glass of champagne on the boardwalk or taking in some of the iconic and listed buildings in Nice I think you'll fall in love with it then we're on to Saint-Tropez and I'm very jealous I've not visited Saint-Tropez yet you've got to see those multi-million and sometimes billion dollar yachts in the harbour um, just take some selfies with them trust me <laughs> it's just interesting people watching there off into Marseille next this is a really relaxed and fabulous port in Provence and some top picks you've got to pick up a bar of Savon while you're there that famous soap that is made in Marseille um, and you've got the Longchamp Palace to, to visit and also the Notre Dame de la Garde uh, next up we're into your uh, fabulous Sonari sur Mer where you can enjoy a lovely beach day. They're known for their incredible beaches and maybe enjoy a French market, shop for some fresh bread and delicious brie and just eat it on the beach. Sete in France is next and this is a buzzing port town offering really an unfussy dose of Mediterranean life and a lovely place to stroll, sit in you know, a cafe, grab a coffee um, and enjoy seafood as well they're known for it Barcelona's up next this is the Catalonian capital you've probably heard so much about Barcelona and if you're desperate to visit guess what you get to enjoy it this is the start of the second cruise head to Parque Guel up in the mountains for Galdi's masterpiece we have a second stop in Marseille so you know speak to your shore excursions team on board they're very well versed and they will uh, tailor your trip for you so they'll allow you to kind of maximize your time and money in port which is great we're back into Monte Carlo for the day. I mean, if there's anywhere we want to visit twice, it's here. Uh, go to the casino, grab a cocktail outside. It is the most amazing building. Um, Eze is not too far either, and that's a really cool port. You're also quite close to the Italian border in San Remo with the famed jazz festival. And we have an overnight in Livorno, which is wonderful because this has got so much to offer. You've got the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but you have Florence not too far away. So you can do both of them and even maybe Cinque Terre, because you have an overnight, so you can fit in multiple tours um, in this port of call, which is brilliant, and enjoy Italy at night. Civicevecchia is up next, which is the port for Rome. Um, along with being just a really nice, tranquil Italian port city, Rome's not far away by train, by shore excursion, and of course it is the eternal city and known as the eternal city for a reason. Then we're into Sorrento. Um, take your pick here from Capri, which is the island of the rich and famous, Pompeii, which is the famed lost city covered by the ash of Mount Vesuvius, which, by the way, you can also visit while you're there. Then we're into Couture Montenegro. Um, this is fastly becoming one of the most popular and most visited destinations in this part of Europe, and it has got the most beautiful UNESCO World Heritage City with so much to offer. We're into Sibeg, 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 oh, I'll try that again, Sibenik, Croatia next, uh, for the Sibenik Cathedral and also the Kirka National Park. If you want to get out there and see some nature in these ports, perfect time to do it with it being in the summer. 
Copa Slovenia. We don't see this in itinerary. See, this is why we love Azamara. It takes you off the beaten track and um, invites you into kind of different worlds that you wouldn't experience on regular cruises. We're going to finish in Venice and we've got an overnight on board plus two nights in a hotel. So a three night stay in Venice. Thank you very much. In Venice, they don't have taxis. They have boats. Yeah, it's the city on the water. They don't have avenues, they have canals. It is so cool. You actually look up at the streets and they've got the street name, but then you look down, it's just water, isn't it? Yeah, oh, <laughs> it, honestly, it, it is like nowhere on earth. It is incredible. It has such an amazing charm. Um, you will just love it. And it rounds off this holiday just beautifully, yeah. if you think about it. Um, there is so much included. Every aspect of this holiday is niche, it's boutique, it's different. There are calls on the itinerary which are very unusual for cruise itineraries. In fact, some that we've never even seen before on this itinerary. And remember, you're actually doing two back-to-back -back cruises here. So for Azamara, usually their getaways are quite boutique and they're usually shorter itineraries. So this is really, really nice, the chance to get to. The ultimate luxury getaway. I mean, listen to this for a menu. Included in the price, the flight from Sydney to Nice, a helicopter or luxury vehicle transfer to your three night hotel stay in Monte Carlo then 19 nights of cruising with Azamara more inclusive luxury boutique cruising with less than 800 passengers so many included services and amenities on board cruising the Mediterranean including overnights in Livorno Florence and Pisa and you end the cruise in Venice with an overnight on board and then two further nights in a hotel before the flight back to Sydney incredible I'm going to deliver the price tag to you right now because this is something you should truly treat yourself to. It's an amazing opportunity. It's less than $12,000 each. And I tell you what, that is a considered price tag, but this is the holiday of superstars and you don't need to be a millionaire to do it. If you want more information, you can pop in that number into our website, cruiseaway.com.au. That gives you more details on the whole holiday. Or of course, you can speak to our team right now, one three. 9.54. Let's have a quick look at upgrades while you're on board. Azamara Pursuit there, which remember if 19 of your 26 nights are of that luxury, more inclusive cruising, which as Joe mentioned uh, earlier, includes experiences like destination immersion, where either um, local talent or local speakers are brought onto the ship, or you're taken to a boutique experience uh, near one of the ports. And the ports here, are amazing. This is such a beautifully balanced holiday as well because nothing is relaxed. It's all at an amazing pace as well. If you're ready to book, call us now 1300 411954. Our time is already up. Don't forget, we are here every single day on Gecko, one o'clock at lunchtime, four o'clock in the afternoon as well. We are here every single day. And listen, it's all good news. It's all talking about holidays. It's all Derek, smiles. I have to go because my helicopter's waiting. I've just had. I know. Yep. It's time for takeoff. Fabio, I'm coming. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.